Welcome back to my tutorial. I'm SV and today we are continuous to create our first game in Unreal Engine 4. It will be a 2D project. So um, what we have now? Just play and check. I have stamina, I have life, I have spawn at some land. I can jump, I can fly and if I touch something I will lose my life. Okay, very good. If I fly, my stamina going out. If I run in on the land, my stamina going up. So it's very easy gameplay. And when I lose all my life, my game going to pause. So what we are create today? Today we will add to my pawn some score, calculation of score. For this reason, we are create one more variable. This variable will be score, something like that. So we are going to score and our variable type will be not float it will be integer because i have just number nothing more compile so every time when i start play uh, okay i select this one every time when i start play my score will get a, will take a zero it means every time i start play from beginning zero without any saving so what we will do how to will make a score calculation? Uh, go into viewport and check what I have. I have a bull, I have box of collision, and I have this small box. As you remember, we are creating this box for camera shake. Uh, also, this box of camera shake we can use for calculation of our drums. As you remember, when my bull is jumping up, my box all time down. So it's mean uh, I take this box, I am going to hide in game, I put some not hide in game and play again. And look at this. Downstairs you, you can see the small box. If I jump, this small box all time down. So if I jump, you see box all time down. I like to make some options. When this box finish overlapping any drum, I will get one point. It will be like a I don't know, like a kind of calculation, something like this. Finish overlapping, I get plus one point. Okay, what we are doing for this reason? We are going back to event graph and somewhere here, we are taking again camera collision box, right click, add collision and on component and overlap. Uh, begin overlap, it was somewhere here. So when my pawn begin overlap, I will get camera shake. But end overlap, I use a cast for drum, cast to object drum. You remember this object drum which I created, yes? So when any object drum will take my camera collision box, I take my score, okay, set my score, get plus integer plus integer plus one. Something like that. So it's, it will be very, very similar. After that, I am going on top. You remember here we have our like a checker. So I take again print string, print string. Uh, it will be blue color or dark blue, doesn't matter. Something like that. I take my score, get, and to take some information. Okay. And duration will be will be also maybe one second something like that save and check so for a moment as you can see my score is zero yeah maybe i also make a 0 0.5 just to receive it okay play again okay score life and stamina okay look at this i over jump and one over jump again two three every time when my small box overlapping and overlapping uh, uh, drum, I will get score. So it's going seven and like this continuously eight. So, and as you can see, we already create some three very interesting options. So stamina, life and score, which we can use and now. Uh, so what we have, as you see, I have a uh, numbers. Yes, I don't like to receive these numbers. I like to receive uh, like some, some kind of game design. Uh, for this reason, we are create widget. How to do it? 
we are going to content add and add new folder name of this folder will be with jet something like that as i remember i put correct so change color maybe it will be like a violet so it's re it really doesn't matter right click and create user interface widget blueprint so now we are don't use blueprint class we are use user interface widget blueprint and it will be like a game game in there face something like that game interface open and we have new window which we are don't use not use before so uh how is working and what we can do here how it's working uh first of all we are create some life we are going to progress bar why progress bar why not image because progress bar will have some percentage fill upping so we are take progress bar, drag and drop down. Rename it to life. So first it will be progress bar life. You see it's, it, is, it is it is a very, very small. Uh, so now I make some size of this progress bar. Size you see will be 200, maybe for 200, something like that. Uh, here we have some anchor. So. If I like to receive this progress bar in this angle, anchor should be in this angle, just like this. Okay, now we are going, we are going, we are going somewhere down, style, yeah, open style. Uh, okay, background image, open and image, put my heart as I remember, heart, yeah as you remember we are created some kind of white heart heart zero yeah heart zero we can use texture heart zero you see it's working not correct because we can go here and draw as image okay very good we have it maybe i just put somewhere here maybe for somewhere 50 maybe something like this okay but when my heart will be full it's like a background yes but fill will be also no cancel hold and put here heart will be this first one something like that also don't forget to put to image in other way you will get not correct information so we have background and we have fill what we will do now we are going to percent and in beginning it will be one percent you see what I receive. I receive not so uh, red color, and now we will see why. Uh, because, because my tool and tip text, I uh, know, sorry, fill color and opacity, I have some kind of blue. So just go in here, and as you can see, if I change, something happen. So I like to receive exactly white color. It means everything should be on white. Yeah, or maybe, I don't know, or maybe on zero. No, zero, it will be black. So everything should be on white. It means my fill color and opacity will be white. It means I will receive a fill image full. And look at this, percent one, it means 100, yeah, okay. If I use, you see what is going on on my widget, my heart fill upping, something like that. I don't like to receive fill up from left to right. I like to receive from bottom on top. I am going to bar fill type and left to right, I change to, to, okay, it's possible from center, you see also maybe, maybe you need it also, it looks like very nice. But I like to receive from, from top to bottom, something like that. So when my life will be full, will be like this. After every my uh, damage, life going down. And it looks like very nice. Okay, what we will do now, uh, close to percent, this I like to receive automatically. I have some options. Bind, uh, select this option and create a bind. It means creating some not even graph, created some, some options, yes? So I get, uh, get live percent and return node. It means somewhere here I have to give information from my, uh, from my percentage, yeah? How to do it? Uh, I like, I, I need to make um, like a contact between my game widget, 
uh, game interface widget, yes, and between my pawn, because life, it is here. So how to do it? I am take it and make it cast to my pawn. Cast to my pawn, okay? Uh, my pawn have control, don't forget to put control, get control, yeah. Or maybe I have mistake. Ah, no, 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 not control. Pawn. Yeah, get player pawn. So my pawn, get player pawn. Object should be yes. If I use pawn, I use a get player pawn. So then, as my pawn, I from this area I will take some information. Which information I can to take? If I'm going to pawn, I can take now everything what is inside. Any options or any variables doesn't matter because I already have a cast. I take a life, just going to life. You see, I have a life. I don't need set, I need just get this information. So it's mean, get life. Very good. Uh, as you can see inside my design, uh, percentage one, not 100, one. It's like an Unreal Engine options. I cannot do nothing. For this reason, I take my life and divide it, float divided by float, divide it to 100, just to receive exactly information what I need, just to receive percent. And this return value put here. Okay, what I have, cast to my pawn, take life, divide it by 100 to receive 1%, yeah, and put somewhere here. Very nice compile and play. And as you can see, I have a nothing. I still have these numbers because I have to add this widget on my game. How to do it? How to do it? Uh, we are going to my pawn and every time when we are begin play, we are add some widget. So take like this, put a widget, create a widget, which widget from class we are take a game interface, you remember, yes, which we are created this game interface, add this widget to viewport, add to viewport, because we are just create, but we are not add to viewport, add this widget to viewport, something like that. Uh, what else? Yeah. And maybe, maybe from this widget, I take some variable later, maybe we will use it. So I'm going like this and promote to variable. Yeah, something like that. So like that. Uh, for what I need it, it means when my widget created, it automatically recorded inside in this variable. For this reason, I put to this, you see, game interface variable. I put a game widget, something like that. So now I have this variable. Uh, what else? So I have mouse, I have widget, compile, and play. And as you can see, I already have this widget on top. And now we will check if it's working or not. So I'm going to collision. And as you can see, my life going out. One, two, three, and last one, four. And it looks like very nice. Empty life and game it stop it. So uh, what we will do now? Before start of the play, I like to make some loading screen. It's like some small bonus today. We will do some loading screen. Again, play, you see my game started exactly directly. But I like to I like to make some loading screen. Okay, for this reason, we are going back to our widget folder. We are create new widget. User interface and create blueprint widget. It will be like a loading screen something like that so this screen will be before my game open and what we can do here what we can do here first of all i take some maybe some image take image and put inside in this canvas so take this image and my anchor point i will put like this so no any anchor point i like to receive this everywhere just take it and put here or you can take this hold counter on your keyboard and drag and drop so this image will be everywhere 
Now we can go and color and opacity something like that. We can make it. I I don't know some beautiful color maybe. It's it really doesn't matter. It's, it's depend from your design of game. So but I like to receive something like that. Uh, what we will do now? Now we are create some text. We are going to text and put this text inside canvas panel. As you can see, I have some text. So this text will be on the middle because I take this text. Uh, sorry, what, what I put on the middle. No, this here, text. Text will be on the middle. Just take and put on the middle. So then, then take text and put somewhere here and change the text for loading, something like this. And maybe I put three points, why not? looks like very nice so here we have some options for font I don't know I I increase a little bit no it's too much maybe it will be 70 okay oh sorry no what I'm doing <laughs> Mm hmm okay save loading will be down of text okay and I like to put it on the middle so 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 give me one seconds here maybe I will make a zero maybe zero aha it is here I put everything zero, then text I put on the middle. Okay, and it will be exactly on the middle. Now I little bit pick up. Just a moment, give me to see. Mm -hmm. So the zero and this I little bit pick up somewhere here. Very nice. So in present moment, this is exactly on the zero. So what I add, I add now to canvas panel uh, some primitives as I remember. Yes, circular. Trover. Maybe I have mistake how it's calling. So I edit, take, also put somewhere on the middle. Take this circular trover, put somewhere here and increase size. Maybe it will be for 300, for 300, something like that. Now I cannot see nothing. Yeah, I can see if I increase, you see some points running around. So I increase quantity of these points up to much and change color mm, i don't know i think yes i remember it is inside in the image tint no it's white maybe i change to to uh, to red something like that so very good i have it so maybe i add also some mm, period maybe i will add one okay you see uh, looks like very nice coming some Coming some options, image size. I increase, I increase these points. Okay, and now it's good. Looks like some loading, some loading coming. So minus one hundred fifty, and little bit pick up. So, as you can see, I have some loading screen. So how to add this loading screen and how to play with that one? Uh, compile and save. Now we are going to my game. So as you remember, in some first my tutorial or second my tutorial with Unreal Engine, I create a game level. So I have this game level. If I'm going to blueprints, here I have level blueprint. So don't, uh, how is calling, don't make a mistake. This blueprints, it's not a level blueprints. Because inside in level blueprints, it's only one. This blueprints started when I start this level. After this blueprints coming all other blueprints. So it's mean like a, we can tell like a main blueprint for this level. So we are open it. And as you can see, it's empty. And for begin play, when I just start, when I just start this level, I will create some widget. So with jet create a widget 
name of this widget will be loading screen, something like that. Then I add this loading screen to viewport, something like that. What I am doing next one, uh, just a moment, give me one second. After delay, I will make delay, delay. After three seconds or five seconds, okay, I will make it three seconds. After three seconds, I destroy this blueprint. I mean this widget. I am going here and make a remove from parent. Should be somewhere uh, if I don't make mistake. Uh, no, I cannot do because I can take from here. Yes, remove. Yeah, remove from parent, something like that. Okay, what does mean remove from parent? It means my widget not showing anymore. Just put down to make it a little bit beautiful. Yeah, something like that. Okay, what next? Next, I will go in and, 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 and then coming some game. So we will check, compile and play. You see, start then remove from parent and coming my game. Uh, okay, it looks like very nice, but now we are have some small, small checking, some small checking, just, just, just. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are going to my pawn and begin play. Okay, we are select, select, select everything. So here we create a custom event because this widget coming exactly on event begin play. But I like to receive the, this widget a little bit later. So for this reason, I take custom event. Custom event, it will be create, create game. Any, any name you can give it, doesn't matter. Create game widget. So, and also my mouse, yes, I, I cut it and I put it somewhere here. So when I create my widget, I will take my mouse, so put down and connect it. Okay, now I have to call this event and I'll call this event from my level blueprint. Go in here and after that, when it will be removed from parent, I cast to to my pawn cast to my pawn okay here i take my pawn get pawn player and after that i take you remember we are create create not great create create game widget you see i can call this function something like that Okay, very good. So, why it's, why it's like this? Just a moment. Mm, where is the problem? Why it's warning? Couldn't function, create widget, call it from. Could, could not find function. Why it's could not find function? Aha, uh -huh, I know why. Because as you can see, close to my pawn, I have some small star. If I have the small star, it means my uh, pawn not save it and not compile it. So save and compile. Now start going out and this uh, function, this uh, event already inside in the memory. If I'm going back and compile now, you see now I haven't any problem because before I forget to compile. Don't forget to compile and you will get a, you will get a, normal procedure very good so play and check one two three and start game and i create widget uh, how we can check it uh, we can make it like this we can make here some small delay just to see if it's working or not this delay will be for one second it's mean when my uh, widget from loading screen will going out after one second I will get game widget. So we will check and we will see if it's working or not. No widget, 
I have widget. So it means it's working. So I don't need this delay and it's, it's really, really very nice. So for a moment, my tutorial finish. In my next tutorial, we will a little bit uh, modify our mm, game level and we are create some some kind of animation for game widget. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, check my, my other tutorials. It will be very nice and see you next time. Uh, goodbye, my friends.